Hey everybody, what's up? Sweaty Zeus here, and today I'm going to be playing Elden Ring, a little game you might have heard of. I'm going to go over some of the classes real quick. I know there's a lot of people new to this game, don't understand how the stats work, and I actually listened to a review uh, from an outsider's perspective, uh, and how he didn't understand the stats and was misplacing where a lot of them go. Uh, so I wanted to just go over real quick some of the classes, what's good for, you know, starter classes for people new to the experience. Vagabond's going to be what's called your quality build. If you look at strength and dexterity, strength is your heavy weapons usually, dexterity is your more, um, you know, difficult to wield weapons like um, flails and... Um, you know, whips and things like that. Um, but quality build is where you level both of those stats together. Um, a lot of those weapons scale off both strength and dex. Uh, quality build allows you to basically try all the weapons out through the game, uh, other than ones that are going to be based on faith, arcane, or mind, which you can throw a little bit in there too. But this is kind of like your all-around combat melee type warrior is going to be more geared toward dexterity so a lot of uh, smaller more cursed swords um, like I said whips flails um, weapons you think of being more skill based than you know big heavy clubs and strength based hero uh, that's going to be your strength build so big axes, even though you start out with like a smaller axe <laughs> in Elden Ring, that small axe, um, and a shield, uh, like I said, that's going to be geared more towards strength. You see that's the highest attribute in Arcane, um, which is going to be, that's kind of more complicated stat. I'll go over a little later, but it's going to be more some of the like dragon based spells and things like that. So this is like your heavier weapon guy. Bandit is probably the most um, uh, advanced class. It's mostly based on doing critical attacks and parrying, which is going to be extremely difficult to new people. So I'd recommend you stay away from that. Um, you could do a dexterity arcane base and start with this, but as far as like starting weapon, you know, not the best, um, but you, you you can if you want. So, uh, Astrologer is going to be your pure mage, your ranged mage. Uh, so, you know, he's only going to have a um, small sword as a backup. And he's not even going to have equipped as his primary. Uh, when you start out, you'll have to equip that. So, just shows it's kind of your secondary um, weapon as far as doing damage. Mind is our mind and intelligence are two main stats. Mind is basically your mana, how much how many spells you can cast. Intelligence is uh, your ability uh, and what scales the damage that your spells that you cast do. Profit is faith based magic, which are different spells um, these are going to be shooting more like projectiles and um, I guess uh, what they call glintstone magic here which is like it's hard to explain but more what you'd think of as a traditional mage uh, there's a lot of magical swords and shooting energies and things like that profit's going to be more uh, it's going to have fire magic, beast magic. Um, they're Again, they're all faith-based, so it's just a different kind. So if you want uh, to do, like, like I said, more... I'd look up online, to be honest, before you start, if you want to do either of these, to decide which, to kind of see what the faith-based paths and the intelligence based base cast look like so you can kind of 
see what you want to go for. But either one, like I said, you're, you could, your stats can drift wherever you want as you play the game, and you can change your stats later. This is just a starting class. Samurai's another dex uh, based with a little bit of strength. More of a melee build, but you do have some ranged ability with a bow. So a good bow to start with. Prisoner is your um, astrologer, but with a little bit more melee, he's going to have a sword as a primary in addition to his uh, his uh, staff. So it's going to be you know one in each hand. When I played Magic, this is what I started with because I do you know I still like to get in there and mix it up. Confessor is going to be the same thing as Prisoner, as um, as Prisoner is to Astrologer, Confessor is to Prophet. This is basically like your Church Assassin type guy. Uh, he's probably got the coolest starting armor, in my opinion. Um, but a decent weapon too, good armor. You got a shield and the ability to cast. Uh, you also, I think, start out with a f fire spell with this one. I'm trying to see where it shows. I guess it doesn't. And again, a lot of these descriptions tell you what they are. This guy's going to have... Um, another kind of projectile based magic um, glintstone sorcery where it uh, shoots a projectile it'll kind of you can leave behind a little mine almost and then it shoots a projectile on a delay and I think this guy comes with not exactly sure you may, may want to look that up because I, I thought it'd show it but uh, it's not showing the different magics that they have. I just thought they did. And then Wretch. That's going to be your um, hard mode start. All your stats are down at 10. You're level 1. So you have the least levels of all of them. You have no armor. You have a horrible club to start with. It's not great. And... Uh, this one's good if you don't know what you want to do. And kind of uh, decide as you go. So that's another option there as well. Uh, again, for people that are new to the game, I think um, Astrologer, Prophet, Prisoner, Confessor are the way to go. Um, with magic, you can take down enemies from a distance. So if you really struggle with the combat at first, it, it's a good way to ease your way in. And uh, in some of the harder encounters, you can uh, whittle down health before you even have to get in and mix it up. So definitely a good way to start. But if you want to do pure melee, I would go with one of these three here. This one's going to be again quality. It's going to be doing a little bit more of either strength or dex. You don't really know or both. This one's more dex. This one's more strength. So I'll go over the stats more as we go but that gives you a little bit of a um, starting indication. Be sure to um, you know, look under the stats at the different items they start with. Get an idea of that as well. And the armor, see what you like. Because a lot of these armors, although they're the base armors, if there's one you like, you say you like the Confessor armor, but you start as a Prophet, you can't get this armor until a little later in the game. So if you're really hung up on a certain armor, I want to start with that. So, I hope that explains it well. 
I still haven't quite decided what I want to start with yet. Still kind of giving her, giving her a thought here. I think what we're going to do is probably go with a bleed build. And it might be one of the easier ways to get started from a melee standpoint. 